Hey guys, in this video we'll be covering the mobile app. Once you log in, you'll see a screen like this where you'll be seeing notifications. If you don't have any at this point, you'll notice it's showing a blank screen right now. In the top left of your screen, you'll see the menu icon. Clicking on it gives you a few options. So if you click on the gear icon, it allows you to change some general settings. For example, the appearance of the app. If you want to change to dark mode or keep it in line with your system settings, you can do that. For now, I'm just going to keep it on the light version. You can also change the language for the app if you need to. Then you can see the app versions, along with the logout option if you need to use that. Now let's head back. So on the left side, we've got a few options like opportunities, where you can check out the pipeline stages if you've got any leads into that, as well as defining the date ranges here. So if you need to see the leads for, let's say, all time or maybe just for this week, you can. And if you keep scrolling right, you can see all the pipeline stages you have. You can also sort them, and then we've got a few more filters you can apply to see the appropriate leads that you want. Now, if I go back and click on the menu icon here again, you can also select invoices. Clicking on that, you can see the status of all the invoices that are here. And if you need to create a new invoice from the mobile app, you can also do that simply by clicking on this plus icon and then selecting if it's a new, one-time invoice, or maybe a recurring invoice if that's what you need. Then you can just go through the settings and send an invoice right away. Now going back to the menu, another option we've got is Insights. So if you go to that, you can actually see the overall or the high-level view of your account, like how many opportunities you have or what's the pipeline value like. And under Marketing, you can also see the campaigns if you have any active right now. If you click on a sub-account, you can also see the stats for a customized date range, like how many users you have in the account, how many contacts and outreach, all of that. It's like a very good overview of what's happening in your sub-account. That can be really helpful for you to know. Now, the last option we've got in this menu is Tasks. So, if you've assigned any tasks to your team members or staff, you can also monitor that right away. Now, once we go back to the main screen, we've got some more buttons towards the bottom. This is the home page, which is open, showing you the notifications. And then we've got this chat bubble. So if you click on that, you'll see all the conversations. You can also filter through them, if you'd like, and communicate back and forth by typing a message here. Once you begin typing a message, you'll also see these quick actions where you can switch between email or text, if you want. You can also attach images, if you'd like. Additionally, there's this plus icon here allowing you to send more attachments like video files, templates, and even request payments. To request payments, ensure you have Stripe or a payment processor connected, and then you can request payments directly within the app. Now, there are a few cool options under conversation. If you swipe to the left on any of these chats, you can start the conversation right away. And if you click on the More button, you can mark the conversation as unread, see the content info in detail, add tasks, check what tags are added, and a lot more stuff. Now if I go back, another cool thing you can do is swipe to the right on any conversation to instantly mark it as unread. The next option is the star icon for reviews. This is all the review management that you can see in the mobile app. If you click on the plus icon, you can also send a review request. So let's say you have a new customer to whom you want to send a review request. So you'll select them using the drop-down selection at the bottom and then click on Send SMS Review Requests, which will send them the link as well as the text that we had set up under Reputation Management. The next option we've got is the calendar. If you click on the calendar icon on the bottom, you'll be able to see all the calendars as well as the appointments that you've set up in your account. If you click on the plus icon, you can also block a time or schedule a new appointment with any of the customers here, select the time slot, and then add in the appointment title, select the calendar, and hit Save. That will generate an appointment inside the system right away. Then the next option is Contacts. If you click on that, you'll be able to see the entire database. And if you click on the plus icon, you can quickly add a new contact manually if you want to. Now you might have noticed that we do have this lightning icon, which is for quick action. This is accessible all across the app, allowing you to take quick actions right away. It includes options like sending an email to somebody, adding a contact, booking an appointment, requesting a review, and all these different options that can save you time instead of navigating within the app. A couple of key options that are really helpful include, of course, making a call. When you click on it, it takes you to the power dialer, and you can call right away, saving you tons of time. If you also need to send a quick SMS to somebody, you can search their name up here, type in the message, and hit send on the top, which will save you, again, 
a lot of time. With that being said, that's all about this video. I hope you found it valuable, and thank you for watching.